Hey everybody, this is Anthony with the Love and Notes Group, and I wanted to go over rent versus buy calculations in the FHA scenario, uh, where someone is renting for twenty five hundred monthly. They're looking to buy a five hundred thousand dollar home with a three point five percent down, which is the minimum for the FHA loan, and an interest rate at four percent. So we're looking at calculations after five years. And after five years, you are to save about $72,541 deciding to own rather than rent. And to break that down, uh, there's about $32,000 that are used to purchase the home, about $200,000 in payments made uh, throughout those five years, about $14,000 in maintenance. And you subtract that by the appreciation you gain of about 94,000, about 47,000 in principal, and about 21,000 in tax savings. That leaves you uh, with a total cost of $85,149. Whereas if you were to rent with an annual increase of 2.5%, you'd be looking at about $157,689,000 spent. Now subtract that 157,689 by the 85149 and you're looking at the buy gain of $72,541. That's after five years. Now what is the tax adjusted payment? So uh, when you own your own home you're able to write off that interest that you pay on your loan each year and we take that interest savings divided by 12 then subtract it from your mortgage payment to give you a tax adjusted Payment. So here you can see that the annual tax savings is about $5,175 divided by 12. That's about $431.31. Now your mortgage is about $3,340.19. And subtract that by the annual tax savings shown monthly. And that gives you your tax adjusted payment of $2,908. Now the 2,908 payment is $408 more than the rent of 2,500. However, that adjusted payment is a fixed cost, whereas the rent will continuously increase at 2.5% every year. Additionally, you aren't earning equity. Now what is equity? Each month that you make your payment, you are gaining equity in your home. So. After five years, we're looking at a down payment of about $17,500 towards your equity and appreciation of $93,843. And then you've paid your principal down $46,897. So uh, that's the total equity of $158,240.26 that you have earned after five years. So let's just say after five years, you want to move to a different location or upgrade to a bigger house. Well, your home is going to be worth approximately $593,843. Now, subtract the equity you have attained so far, it leaves you with a balance of about $435,602. And then the prorated tax credit of $1,921 and closing costs to sell the home of $41,911. And that leaves you with a net at close of $118,250. Now that's a lot of money to have in comparison to the other scenario, which is renting for five years and spending $157,689 and not having anything to show for it. With that $118,250, you can use that towards a down payment for a bigger home, or you can use that for savings or whatever purpose you would need it for. So that's it for the rent versus buy calculations for the day. If you have any scenarios that you would like me to run for you, uh, just let me know and I can send over these documents with that scenario for you.